أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم By the winds that scatter broadcast and those that lift and bear away heavy weights and those that flow with ease and gentleness those that distribute and apportion by command Verily, that which are promised is true and verily, judgment and justice must indeed come to pass by the sky with its numerous paths. Truly you are in a doctrine discordant, through which are deluded away from the truth such as would be deluded. Woe to the falsehood mongers, those who flounder heedless in a flood of confusion. They ask, when will be the day of judgment and justice? It will be a day when they will be tried and tested over the fire. Taste you your trial, this is what you used to ask to be hastened. As to the righteous, they will be in the midst of gardens and springs, taking joy in the things which their Lord gives them, because before then they lived a good life. They were in the habit of sleeping, but little by night. And in the hours of early dawn, they were found praying for forgiveness. And in their wealth and possessions was remembered the rights of the needy, him who asked, and him who for some reason was prevented from asking. On the earth are signs for those of assured faith, as also in your own selves, will you not then see? And in heaven is your sustenance, as also that which you are promised. By the Lord of heaven and earth, this is the very truth, as much as the fact that you can speak intelligently to each other. Has the story reached you of the honored guests of Abram? Behold, they entered his presence and said, Peace. He said, Peace, and thought, These seem unusual people. Then he turned quickly to his household, brought out a fatted calf, and placed it before them. He said, Will you not eat? When they did not eat, he conceived a fear of them. They said, Fear not, and they gave him glad tidings of a son endowed with knowledge. But his wife came forward, laughing aloud. She smote her forehead and said, A barren old woman. They said, Even so has your Lord spoken, and he is full of wisdom and knowledge. Abram said, And what, O you messengers, is your errand now? They said, We have been sent to a people deep in sin. Bring on, on them, a shower of stones of clay brimstone, marked as from your Lord for those who trespass beyond bounds. Then we evacuated those of the believers who were there. But we found not there any just Muslim persons except in one house. We left there a sign for such as fear the grievous penalty. And in Moses was another sign. Behold, we sent him to Pharaoh with authority manifest. Pharaoh turned back with his chiefs and said, A sorcerer or one possessed. So we took him and his forces and threw them into the sea, and his was the blame. And in the Ad people was another sign. Behold, we sent against them the devastating wind, it left nothing whatever that it came up against, but reduced it to ruin and rottenness. And in the Thamud was another sign. Behold, they were told, enjoy your brief day for a little while. But they insolently defied the command of their Lord, so the stunning noise of an earthquake seized them, even while they were looking on. Then they could not even stand on their feet, nor could they help themselves. So were the people of Noah before them, for they wickedly transgressed. With the power and skill did we construct the firmament, for it is we who create the vastness of space. And we have spread out the spacious earth, how excellently we do spread out. And of everything we have created pairs, that you may receive instruction. Hasten you then at once to Allah. I am from him a warner to you, clear and open. And make not another an object of worship with Allah. I am from him a warner to you, clear and open. Similarly, no messenger came to the peoples before them, but they said of him in like manner, a sorcerer or one possessed. Is this the legacy they have transmitted one to another? Nay, they are themselves a people transgressing beyond bounds. So, turn away from them, not yours is the blame. But teach your message, for teaching benefits the believers.
I have only created genes and men, that they may serve me. No sustenance do I require of them, nor do I require that they should feed me. For Allah is He who gives all sustenance, Lord of power, steadfast, forever. For the wrongdoers, their portion is like unto the portion of their fellows of earlier generations. Then, let them not ask me to hasten that portion. Go then to the unbelievers, on account of that day of theirs which they have been promised.